Tim wants to know why, why on earth do we atheists on this show, at least bust on God slash Jesus? Why can't you accept him? Why don't you want to be free? This is, this is a good one. Um, I'll, I'll start. I'll okay, start. Okay, okay. I'll Do start yours the, for the moment. Yeah. And then I'm going to pass it right over I'm to here. I'm listening. you too. Tim, I don't believe that God or Jesus exist. It's, it's as simple as that. I don't, I think I, I'm bust. When I bust okay. on Jesus, when I bust on God or Jesus, it's not God or Jesus that I'm teasing. It's not even believers that I'm teasing when I'm doing the teasing. And I do a little bit of teasing now and again. It's the arrogant people who want to call me um, a, a, a would-be sinner or a stupid person or an arrogant person. I just like to tease them. So when yeah, I when I tease about that. yeah, when I tease about Jesus, school, bro. say again. I said too cool for school, right? Yeah, those people are too cool for school. Absolutely. And and I'm just the guy in the back row just trying to keep a low profile so that the teacher doesn't call on me, but I always get called on. Phoebe, what what why do you do you bust on on God and Jesus? I wouldn't say I bust on God or Jesus, but as somebody no, who I'm, used to, you I, know, be very, oh, very sorry, deep on, on Jesus. You're going to hold on. There, oh, Tim. Sorry, sorry. Tim, we sorry. got a little bit of overlap there. T uh, Phoebe was talking. Tim, go ahead. Phoebe, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry about that. Well, as somebody who used to, you know, be one of these synagogue going individuals, I, I wouldn't say that I ever busted on God. I wouldn't say that, you know, I particularly busted on Jesus when I was, you know, deep into my Judaism. But. <sighs> When I look back on it now, I go, well, why was I doing that? I was doing it out of blind faith, as they say. And this blind faith was not very healthy for me because I wasn't understanding exactly what it was all about. Um, I say I, I still lean into my Jewish heritage. I still lean into my Jewish past and my links with that side of me, but I just don't follow that religious side of me anymore. I don't follow that side of me anymore from a religious point of view because I've started and I have always on the continuous deconstruction of why I was doing that. And I wouldn't say I necessarily busted on God or Jesus, but if that's busting on God or Jesus, then I'm quite happy to hear why Tim thinks that my personal journey to understanding me and my relationship with myself is, you know, a negative. And I now consider myself free. I consider myself to be free. Now, I don't, I consider myself to be somebody who is now free. I can look at that person and I was trapped in going to the synagogue on a Friday night, trapped into these kinds of things. And now I am free. Convince me why I am no longer free. Hello, Tim. Yeah, I'm here. So convince me, Tim, why I'm no longer free. Oh, okay. I, I'm sorry, I missed a lot what you just said. Well, I cut off uh, at the end there. Um, uh, oh, I'm sorry. So convince me why I'm not free. Are you transitioning? What's that got to do with anything? Transitioning well, I, to well, what? If you're transitioning, yeah. obviously you're not free for your mind, your ego. Satan's really talking to you. You know, I was oh. just asking a question. Oh, okay. So I am always transitioning in my understanding with myself. I say, as somebody who was a no, very I mean, religious person, but that's okay. That, that, that's that's irrelevant to this topic. That's completely no, okay. irrelevant okay. to this topic. I don't want to go there. No, that's <laughs> not why I called. I, I didn't call for that. Um. Um, I was talking about why do you have to be an atheist? And, um, I, I like the opening, but man, you took it a whole nother direction. You're just all about, oh, I can't, I can't even go where you're going. Um, I wanted to say, I'm going to testify. Okay. I had, uh, I had an experience where I was doing push-ups outside a two-story window push-ups. I mean, pull-ups. Um, and I fell down and 
I was pretty much in the spiritual body. And I pretty much realized that the only thing that matters in this world is or how much you loved and how much you showed you love, and that's it. Nothing else matters. And okay, it's from um, the your, your original Tim. I'm going to stop you, Tim. Hang on, Tim. I'm going to stop you right here. You said, "Why don't I want to be free? Why don't I want to be free?" In the screen notes, you've said, "Why don't I want to be free?" I consider myself more free now than I've ever been in my entire life. Somebody who has deconstructed well, yeah, no and looked at my own. Want. Yeah, but why am I? But tell me why I'm no longer somebody who is free, or I am giving up freedom. Tell me why I'm giving well, yeah, up freedom. I would say because you are trying to go against the way God created you. But I no longer believe that there is a God or a deity controlling me. I believe that that control was a form of uh, lack of freedom. I believe that now I'm looking at myself. And I'm now convinced no, that not. I'm in control of myself, that I am now free to make my own decisions. I'm free to live my life as I choose to live my life. And therefore, that is my form of freedom. And I feel that I'm now free from the control of going to a synagogue on a Friday on a regular basis, going through all these individual uh, rituals that I was doing. And I'm now choosing what I do myself. How am I now less free that I am now choosing to do something different? How does that make me less free? I don't know what to say to you. I can't judge you. There's only then, one God, then, but what you, but you but you've made you've made you've made a claim. That's Jesus Christ. Why do you do you deny him? Because I haven't seen any convincing evidence that this god or deity or gods, for, for example, exist. Because how can it be? Okay. Hang on. I, I've had evidence. I was trying to testify, but you stopped me. Okay, okay. What is your evidence? In 60 seconds, uh, crew, could we put the uh, clock up? In 60 uh, seconds, tell me. Body. Oh. Uh, okay. I was trying to testify. 60 seconds. I went into the spiritual body. I understood that the only thing that mattered in this whole life is how much you loved and how much you showed how to love. None of this shit matters. Um, if you want to pretend to be a pervert, you know, you could be a pervert, but you're going to have to answer in the end. Um, okay, I'm going to stop you there. If you're going to, if you're going to start calling, if you're going to start casting aspersions, I'm going to mute you there because I'm not going to listen to aspersions be cast upon upon myself here, and you make wild claims as you do. I'm going to unmute you in a second, and if you make any more comments about being a pervert, I'm just going to drop you without any warning. So that's your one and only warning. Excuse me. Tim? I said forgive me. What? Yeah, I'm Tim still here. Okay. Did you hear what I said? No. I dropped out again. There's a drop. Yeah, I, I, I muted you because you were calling me a pervert, so I, cut, so I cut you off. So feel free to say what you were going to say, but you call me a pervert or you make aspersions again, I'll cut you off. I don't know what you just said. You called me a pervert, Tim. I don't think we're getting anywhere with this call now. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you. It's just like porn. You know, you, anybody, every, every man. Okay, okay, Tim. Thank you, thank you. I'm ending the call with Tim now. Um, uh, I wasn't quite sure where Tim was going going with hey. that, but <laughs> so, sorry. Tim... That. I had some technical issues, Phoebe. Uh, some people have a fetish. They want to be publicly humiliated. And I'm not saying that Tim is one of those people, but, you know, I know we're not supposed to kink shame. Nevertheless, uh, thank you for handling <laughs> that. Sorry I didn't uh, have your back there. We had some little technical difficulties. Well, that's okay. But, but you know, these yeah. things happen. And I hope the callers there were more than happy to see that I was able to hold my own against, yeah. you know, Tim. I, I <laughs> wasn't, though, going to let Tim keep on proselytizing to me and they would start calling me a pervert and no. other such things and making comments on my sexuality or my gender identity that's not what this show is is here for no. but 
it's not. Yeah. Tim, this is the kind of things that, you know, yeah. cheapen the debate, in my opinion. I agree. I agree it does. Um, Tim, you uh welcome to reach out to me at Johnny at atheist hyphen community uh, dot org and maybe I'll I'll discuss this further with you, but until such time as you do that, I shan't be taking any calls from you.